Should you get a new rear shock for your Suron? My answer would be no, the shock is actually good enough. Like the stock fork, I couldn't live with it, but the shock was okay. The only thing with the stock shock is that it comes with 450 pound rate spring. I don't know if you can see it there. 450 pound spring for a Suron is way too weak. I think you would at least need a 500 or if you're heavier, uh, 550 like 450 pound is what I run on my mountain bike and you know that's a lot lighter than a Zeron. Now I don't think these shocks are terrible I think they're good enough but because I come from mountain biking I know that the conventional mountain bike shocks are so much better so I wanted to upgrade to a conventional shock. The hardest part about swapping your shock is finding a shock. The length of this shock is 267 millimeters, which is crazy long for a mountain bike spec. If you were to buy a brand new shock, it's very easy. Just go online and order like a Fox float shock. But the cost of that shock is super expensive. It's like over $600. So if you're cheap like me, uh, you gotta get a used shock. 267 millimeter used shock is very hard to come by. I had to search the internet for a few months until I found one on eBay. So the shock that I got is a RockShox Vivid RC2 model. Uh, I got this off eBay for $150, which is a really good deal. It was leaking and I had to do repairs on it. So after I bought it, I spent about $80 in repair, which is still not bad. Now, if you ride really fast, uh, the improvements that you feel over the stock shock is huge. I'm getting way more traction when I'm going really fast with this Vivid shock. But if I were to choose the shock that I wanted to get, I was actually looking to buy a Fox DHX shock, but I couldn't find one online, so I got the Vivid. Now, swapping the shock isn't as simple as taking the stock shock out and just dropping in the new shock. When I first got my new shock and I tried to just bolt everything in, I noticed that um, the sizing of this, these, these tabs on the shock, they're very different. Now you see it right there. The thickness of the tabs are different. This new shock with this aluminum uh, hardware, I custom made that to fit the Suron. So I'll show you how I made the hardware for the new shock to fit into the Suron. Now before you begin, you have to get a lot of measurements of the original shock and the measurement of the new shock to accommodate the difference. can't make your own hardware, you can order them online. But because I live in Korea, there aren't any available, so I have to make my own. Now, if you're having trouble taking out your rear shock, which is pretty simple, I'll show you how to do it. And to take off the shock, you have to remove the, the bolt off this, this, and this, and of course, the shock bolt. So that's a total of four bolts. Now we're gonna Take off this bolt first. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just have to take out the bolt in an order to make it slide out easily. I hope this video helped you guys making your decision on whether to change a shock or not, whether to go through this trouble. And please stick around for more videos on the Suron.